Hi guys, uh, this is Fahad Amid. I'll be your chem teacher at uh, megalecture.com. Uh, together we learn all the difficult concepts in chemistry and we'll go through all the difficult past paper questions and in my live classes and you'll get all sorts of uh, recorded video lectures that, uh, that we'll be doing. They'll be available. They'll be available in the form of a course. All the notes, all the extra worksheets, everything will be provided to you. And together uh, we'll help you ace the chemistry O and A levels exam. Wanted to complete this discussion. Uh, which side does anyone know which side is metals and which side is non metals? So the left side is metals and the no right side is non metals. Yeah, so the left side is your metals and uh, and this right side that's your so that's that's your non metals. TK, that's the first thing. Uh, what or specifically there's a there's there's a there's a staircase which starts uh, below boron tks elements that are around the staircase they're called metalloids uh, which basically means that they have properties of both metals metallic and non metallic properties tk Just that's how the staircase goes. As I remember, this line is not a it's, it's not a rigid fixed line. TK. Uh, uh, over here, uh, if you're on the extreme left, that's metallic. If you're on the extreme right, that's non-metallic. TK. Things that are in the middle are kind of something. They're kind of mixed. TK. So there's this there's this gradual change that happens when you move from left to right. When you move from metals all the way to to non metals and the property of the substance changes a lot okay there's a lot of change in the properties of substances when you move from metals to non metals uh, can, can anyone tell me one one major difference between a metal and a non metal what's the one major how do you differentiate between a metal and a non metal metal conducts electricity Metal is hard. So metals they conduct electricity, that's fine, right? Non-metals I mean these are properties, right? What I'm saying is like what's the one major difference in definition? Like how do you differentiate between a metal? I'm not talking about properties. The properties are obviously different. Metals are shiny, they're lustrous, they're sonorous, they're they they conduct electricity. I mean, you know what a metal looks like, right? Uh, non-metals like like the wood in front of you, it's it's non-metallic. It's uh, non-metallic substances. They uh, they don't do all of that. So one major difference, Amna, do you know what's the major difference between a metal and a non-metal? Yeah, could be anyone. I said, remember this. What's the? There is an electrical conduction. So I'll, I'll tell you, I mean, one basic major difference, right? Metals, they like to lose electrons. That's the one. I mean, the way you know something is a metal is that they like to, they like to lose electrons. I mean, the properties are different. Properties are separate. We're going to study the properties later on. But according at the atomic level, when you have an atom, uh, if it's a metal atom, it likes to lose electrons. And it likes to form, it forms positive ions, which are cations. And your non metals on the other side, the one basic difference is that non metals they like to gain electrons. To you, that's that's one basic difference. And uh, when they gain electrons, they form negative ions, which are known as anions. So those those are your anions. Anyway, so that's that's the major difference. Now the question then is, why does this happen? When you move from left to right, the atoms over here they like to lose electrons. The atoms on the other side they like to gain electrons. So what's the reason? What's what's happening when you move from left to right, right? So let's say I've got lithium over here and I've got uh, fluorine on the other end. One one of them likes to lose electrons. The other one likes to 
gain electrons. Let's look at lithium. Okay, I'm going to draw lithium first. So lithium ka likha hai, it's three and seven, right? So it's three and seven. So how many how many protons? One second. How many protons does it have? Three. Yep. Three. Yes, you got three protons. You got you got three electrons, and you got uh, three mi seven minus three difference. That's the number of neutrons, right? Four. So, four. Okay. So if I draw the if I draw the lithium atom, it's uh, three protons, four neutrons are in the nucleus, and uh, so there are going to be two shells. The electronic configuration is going to be what's the electronic configuration? That's uh, two and one, right? Oh yes. Well, that's that's two and one. It's just so I've got I've got two electrons and I've got one electron in the outermost shell. And then I have fluorine. Okay, that's that's the other corner. Okay, that's uh, nine and fourteen. Okay, that's nine and nineteen. Okay, that's fluorine. So that's the other corner. As a, so fluorine would be nine and nineteen. So that means the smaller number, that's the number of protons, that's the number of electrons, and that's uh, the difference is 10 neutrons, right? Yeah. So I've got this. And the electronic configuration, nine electrons. That's going to be two and seven, right? Yeah. So the nucleus will have nine protons, and it's going to have 10 neutrons, and uh, it's going to have... So this one is going to have a total of uh, seven electrons. Two in the first, and sorry, nine electrons total. Two in the first, seven in the second one. Here, that's what an atom of uh, fluorine looks like. Here, that's your that's your atom of fluorine, and that's your atom of uh, lithium over here. By looking at the atoms, why do you think the one, this one over here likes to lose electrons and why does this one like to gain electrons? What could be the Sir, reason? Oh. The Which fact one? that it only has one electron in its most outer shell, um, the lithium one, and it when it will lose an atom, the uh, fluorine one will gain an atom, so it will be complete. Both the atoms uh, will be complete. Yeah. I think that, that is exactly true, but uh, again, that, that is... Yeah. Huh, but but the reason is not there. I mean, this is exactly what's going to happen. But you didn't tell me the reason. Okay, why does this like to... Why Why does it not... I mean, this electron, it's going to lose that electron, right? You're right about that. And so the problem is, why is it not attracting that electron? So, so the question is, who attracts the electron in the first place? It's the nucleus, right? The nucleus has the positive charge. The nucleus is the thing that keeps the electron attracted to it. I mean, that's why all the electrons, the protons, the protons are positively charged, right? So it's the nucleus that is the one that's attracting this electron. So what is the difference between the nucleus of uh, lithium? It has a stronger, stronger uh, uh, attraction. Yeah, exactly. So, so what's happening is, there are nine protons, right? Over here, there are three protons. So this is plus nine. This is the nucleus is plus nine. It's a lot stronger positive charge. This nucleus over here, so you've got two positive charges, nucleuses, right? One of them is, I mean, the, this one over here, the, the fluorine one, that's that's very strong. Tika, that's got a very strong, this one over here, That's it's got a very strong positive charge. So what it's going to do is, it's going to pull that electron and keep it with itself. So reason, reason, why is this losing electrons? Because its nucleus doesn't have a very strong positive charge. Is that clear? Yes. So the electron is going to fly off. It's going to get attracted to the nucleus, the more stronger positive nucleus over here. Is someone clear? Is this clear to everyone? Yes. Abu Bakr. No, Shema, Ulva, is this clear? Yes. It is clear. 
ठीक है अच्छा रीजन सो द रीजन इज coming back to this i just wanted to explain to you and because because remember it's all all of chemistry when we study chemistry it's all about uh, losing and gaining electrons right that's what's happening so why do metals always tend to lose electrons because they have very few protons in the nucleus they the nucleus does not have a very strong positive charge which is why they always are losing electrons kisi bhi row mein dekh lo you look at potassium 19 protons right if you go all the way to the other side bromine over here has 35 protons so bromine if you put potassium next to bromine bromine's nucleus is very it's got a very strong positive charge and it will gain electrons and it will steal those electrons from potassium right so the point is why are metals always losing electrons because they're always uh having very few protons in the nucleus and uh so they always lose electrons that's why they're metals right and this tendency decreases you care or when you move to the right right the number of protons they continue to increase this one has 20 protons 23 24 25 zinc has 30 right so now it it's becoming harder to lose electrons because the nucleus over here has more protons right so it becomes harder to and then when you move towards non metals they've got too many protons in the nucleus that they start to gain electrons right so remember this point Okay, the periodic table is divided into two parts. One part is metals, and the other part is non-metals. And something happens uh, when you put a metal next to a non-metal. That so the question is, how many electrons will it lose? The metal. Remember, it will only lose this outer electron. It will not lose these two electrons. What's the reason? Why does it? Why doesn't it lose all three electrons? Why does the outermost? What's the reason? Like it loses, because, hmm? Because it's the closest. Because they're closer. When you're closer, there's more attraction, right? So, so it's it's a lot harder to lose this electron, right? The the outer one is like really far away, so so it's easier to lose that electron. So so remember this: when metals lose electrons, they only lose outer shell electrons or valence electrons. but it's 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 going to be extremely hard to lose these electrons because they're very close to the nucleus so they're very strongly or tightly uh, attracted to the nucleus over here as so then this one if fluorine is to gain an electron how many electrons can it possibly gain can it gain more than one electron like if it gains that one electron can it gain oh. more acha and what's the reason for that because there is no more space there's no more space right so so the non metal will continue to gain electrons until there's no space left right so so only valence electrons are lost over here uh what were the second valence electrons lost only and this one gains electrons until its valence shell is complete so until the valence 